Lockbot Jr. is an ESP32 based robot prototype that is being controlled by Node-RED flows on a Raspberry Pi access point via MQTT messages. One of the nodes I developed processes input via a USB adapter from a remote mini keyboard. The modifications being developed in this prototype will be used to modify the robot that was the subject of my previous two videos that are on my YouTube channel, Lockbot Robotics. Lockbot Jr. is on my desk and on my Mac is a picture of my Lockbot robot. This video is intended to identify and demonstrate the function being developed in this prototype. If you are interested in the Node-RED code on the Raspberry Pi or the code running on the ESP32, please subscribe as I will be creating at least two follow-on free YouTube tutorials on the code. I need to show my development environment as the code for the Raspberry Pi is developed on the Raspberry Pi, but I developed the ESP32 code on an iMac. The display connected to the Raspberry Pi shows a node red display with the flows I use to receive messages from a mini keyboard and the MQTT messages sent to the ESP32 prototype. There are also a couple of terminal displays I'm going to use uh, later to show other MQTT messages that can control the prototype. The iMac display shows an Adreno IDE and a serial display used to develop the ESP32 code. There are also a couple of terminal displays to show other MQTT messages that can control the prototype. The prototype is made of two wire baskets with four servos and connected wheels to move the robot. A fifth servo to turn the ultrasound sensor. All servos and the sensor are controlled by a single ESP32. During development, the ESP32 is powered by uh, the serial cable connected to the iMac. The servos and sensor are powered by a 9-volt battery connected to a power regulator on the breadboard. An LED is connected to the ESP32 to identify the status of the Wi-Fi MQTT connection with the Raspberry Pi access point. Before I show you messages going from the Raspberry Pi to the ESP32, I'm going to show a quick demo of the prototype. The Lockbot prototype has an LED indicator that turns red at power up, and it turns blue when it is connected to the uh, Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi access point, and then green when it is connected to the Raspberry Pi MQTT server. Uh, this is a quick demo to show that this ESP32 based prototype supports four servos for movement and a fifth servo and ultrasound sensor to avoid obstacles. I am going to load the uh, code to the ESP32 prototype to show the Wi-Fi and MQTT startup messages uh, in the serial display. Um, while this is in process, I need to note that the Raspberry Pi has already been started as it has no noteworthy startup messages. Also, the iMac is connected to the Raspberry Pi access point as, as its current local Wi-Fi. I've also covered the ultrasound sensor so it will not affect the wheel movement during the uh, uh, selection of uh, forward or backwards uh, on the wheels uh, as part of the MQTT messages. I'm first going to discuss what is happening on the Raspberry Pi in relationship to the um, prototype and then what is happening on the iMac in, re in relationship to the uh, prototype. As part of the ESP32 code connecting to the Raspberry Pi MQTT server, an ESP32 is connected message is published as a Lotbot message. The node labeled Lotbot message being received is subscribed for Lotbot messages and receives the message and 
sends it to the output node labeled MQTT message, which can be seen in a debug display. Just need to mention that the node red and MQTT server are started as part of the Raspberry Pi startup. My main node red flow starts with a standard inject node that is started at node red startup. The message is not important as it is not used except to start the rest of the flow. The second and third pink nodes I wrote and I plan to explain the code for these nodes in a part three tutorial in this series. The ESP32 code will be explained in a part two tutorial. The second node labeled wireless mini keyboard data gets data from the a USB dongle that is a wireless connection to a mini keyboard. The other USB plug is for a splitter that connects to, to a mouse and a keyboard. The disconnected ethernet cable is only used to connect to the internet for external software updates. The keyboard data from the second node is passed to the third node that has one of three outputs. The first output sends a zero or one to the Raspberry Pi's pin 12 that is connected to a LED and will turn that LED on or off. The second output sends an F, B, L, R, or S to the LotBot message being sent node, which is received by all subscribe requests, such as uh, the other flow and uh, the ESP32 prototype. The third output sends all other codes to the message not supported node that can be seen in the dialog display. This co identifies codes that can be used for future activities. I'm now going to select uh, zero or one on the mini keyboard to turn the LED on or off. I am now going to use the up, down, left, and right arrows and the OK buttons on the mini keyboard to generate F, B, L, R, and S, M, Q, T, T messages to tell the prototype to move forward, backwards, left, right, and stop. These messages are received by the prototype and the second node red flow, which are shown in the debug display. We will see these messages being displayed in the serial display on the iMac later. MQTT messages can control the prototype from terminal MQTT line entries. I am going to subscribe to the LotBot messages in a terminal session and publish a LotBot message in a second terminal session. We will see the second node red flow pick up the message and show it in the debug display as well as activate the prototype and display the messages message in, in, a, in the terminal session that is subscribed to the LotBot messages. These are the messages that we just uh, used with the mini keyboard uh, and showed them on the uh, Node Red debug display. Um, now I want to show you the terminal messages uh, done exactly the same way as we did them on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this screen on the iMac is going to subscribe to um, the LotBot at the uh, MQTT server. Okay, it is now subscribed. And down here, I'm going to publish a message um, on another terminal display on the iMac. Okay, and as you can see, the uh, prototype has gone forward with that. Also, when we subscribed 
uh, in the terminal session on the iMac, we see the F there. We also, in the terminal display, I mean, the serial display connected to the Adreno IDE, we see the F on the bottom. And then if we go over to the uh, Raspberry Pi debug display, we see the F there. Now, I'm going to st stop. Okay, and you'll see that uh, on the Raspberry Pi in the debug display, there is an S. You'll see that the F and S on the subscribe terminal session on the Raspberry Pi is there. And you'll see that the F and S on the terminal session um, on the iMac is there. This video was meant to give a description of a development effort to modify the LotBot robot discussed in my first two videos that can be found on my YouTube channel, LotBot Robotics. These modifications were developed as LotBot Junior, which is an ESP32 base robot prototype that is being controlled by Node-RED flows on a Raspberry Pi access point via MQTT messages. Again, this video is intended to identify and demonstrate the function being developed in this prototype. And if you are interested in the Node-RED code on the Raspberry Pi or the code running on the ESP32, please subscribe as I will be creating at least two follow-on free to YouTube tutorials on the code.